Hello, I'm Jo Alberg. I'm a PhD student in philosophy at the University of Hertfordshire. And I'm also working on an exciting project called A Change World. I'm joined by Matthew Waits, who is the um, supporter of this project, to tell you all about it. Hi, Matthew. Hello, Jo. Yes, my name is Matthew Waits. Um, really nice to be here with you, Jo. And I am the Deputy Vice Chancellor at the University of Hertfordshire. And A Changed World is um, a, a project that I have been sponsoring and working very closely with Jo on. So Matthew, where did you come up with the idea for A Changed World? Um, the idea for A Changed World was um, an immediate response to the COVID-19 pandemic and the coronavirus and the fact that the university went into lockdown and we knew that students um, who were uh, going to leave the university and be coming back um, in the autumn uh, and new students who were arriving in the autumn would have had um, really very different and uh, challenging experiences during that period and we the same with staff in fact and we wanted to find a creative and intellectually challenging way of capturing that experience uh, and not to forget what we've gone through or to try and erase it but to try and find a way of enabling students and staff to respond creatively intellectually and in other ways to to what we've all been through it's a fantastic project when you first told me about it it just sounded something so incredible nothing like this has been done before as far as I know to express creatively and intellectually their experience so the kinds of activities that we're going to be aligning with the content um, I would hope to see people um, doing um, audio diaries perhaps or a, a, a memoir which they do through an audio file or they might want to record a conversation with somebody another student who's had a very experience of a, a different experience of the lockdown um, I'd love to see some music, I'd love to see poetry, I'd love to see creative writing, uh, anything really. We're very happy visual uh, art as well, of course, paintings, because the whole point is that we want students to show us how this has impacted on them. And of course, we're also very happy for staff to contribute as well. I and mean, there's nothing to stop members of uh, staff contributing to if they, if they want to. But primarily, we're looking for students to um, provide us with some insight into their experience and to enable us to create for the university, if you like, an archive, a digital archive that we can have for the future and capture the experience of uh, you wonderful students uh, and in, in, in whatever form uh, takes your fancy, really. Brilliant. So will it all the content be there all at once and will there be any deadlines for the submissions? As far as um, uh, deadlines go, um, we're going to have an absolute deadline, which will be sometime before the end of semester A, for reasons which I'll explain a little bit later in the, in the, uh, in the interview, if you like, in this little introduction. Um, but in terms of the content being there all the time, no, what we're going to be doing is having a rolling um, upload of content during the course of the semester, because we realise that some people won't have been ready to put it all up at the beginning. Uh, we're going to go live on the 21st of September uh, with the first, amount of, uh, first tranche of content. And then uh, during the course of the semester, we'll probably be uploading additional content on a possibly a fortnightly basis, roughly. Um, and then uh, other stuff will come down, other stuff will go up, and we're hoping to make it a live uh, website for the whole of the uh, semester so that people always have something new to look at. So how long will this project go on? Just a semester? Or? Yeah, the idea is that the project lasts during semester A. There may be uh, and we have plans for developing other initiatives within the university for semester B, but a changed world will run for semester A. Uh, in semester B, we are going to hold some form of event, details to be announced, uh, which will celebrate the content that's been uploaded and the responses of our students and our, and our learning community uh, to COVID-19. And I'm looking forward to working on that with you, Jo, and with others to make that a really special occasion in the spring. And Joe, one of the things I'd be interested in when you're curating this is when you've been going out to uh, staff and, and others and other members of the community to look for content, what's the kind of principles or, or values, if you like, that you are underpinning your search for this amazing content in the university? Well, we are looking to make sure that we have content, academic and otherwise, to reflect the diverse nature of our university and everything that Hertfordshire stands for. That's so good to know because we've, of course, got really key um, values, the faces values that everybody's familiar with, 
um, and also equality, opportunity and flexibility. And I'm really pleased to hear from you, Joe, that you're looking for um, those diverse voices to be um, expressed in this project because it's one of the most important things about this institution that it gives everybody a voice and everybody's voice is worth listening to. So thank you for that. And I'm excited to see what that, what that brings us. Absolutely. So the idea is that the project runs for semester A and we will have a kind of deadline for final submissions a couple of weeks before the end of semester A so that we can review those. And the reason we're reviewing those is because we've got a surprise event planned for semester B relating to what we've done this semester on A Changed World, but we're not going to let you know what that is yet because it's a surprise. Could, could you at least tell me? Just Am Only I after the camera's been turned off. Okay, well, it does sound very exciting, so I can't wait to see and hear what that's going to be. Thank you so much, Matthew, for chatting with me today about a changed world. It's been an absolute pleasure, Joe, and real pleasure working with you and, and getting your ideas as part of this as well. It's a real team effort. Thank and you. I'd like to just thank everybody who's contributing as well. Uh, this is a University of Hertfordshire event. We're, we're kind of running it, but it is you who's making it special, so thank you.